The impossible happened, again. Donald J. Trump defying pollsters and pundits reclaimed the presidency, becoming the 47th president of the United States. His victory, a shocking upset for many, exposed deep fissures within the American electorate. Inflation had soared. Illegal immigration dominated headlines. Americans, it seemed, yearned for a return to Trump's brand of economic nationalism and hardline immigration policies. Trump's campaign, fueled by rallies and fiery rhetoric, tapped into a wellspring of anger and frustration. He promised to curb inflation, secure the border, and restore American strength on the world stage. His message resonated with voters who felt left behind by the political establishment. On election night, the nation watched as key states, one by one, turned red. Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, all fell into Trump's column. The blue wall had crumbled. Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee, fought valiantly, but ultimately could not overcome the Trump tide. Trump's victory speech, delivered to a roaring crowd of supporters, was a vintage performance. He promised to make America great again again, echoing the slogan that propelled him to victory in 2016. The message was clear. Trump was back, and he was ready to shake things up. Trump's victory sent shockwaves across the country. For his supporters, it was a moment of jubilation. They had put their faith in Trump once again, and he had delivered. But for his detractors, it was a nightmare come true. They feared a return to the divisiveness and chaos that had defined his first term. Protests erupted in cities across the country. From New York to Los Angeles, people took to the streets to express their anger and dismay. They carried signs denouncing Trump and his policies. They chanted slogans like, not my president and resist. Social media became a battleground of opinions. Trump supporters and opponents engaged in heated debates, often resorting to personal attacks and insults. The online world, much like the real world, reflected the deep divisions that plagued the nation. The media, still reeling from Trump's unexpected victory, struggled to make sense of it all. Some commentators blamed the polls, which had consistently underestimated Trump's support. Others pointed to the deep economic anxieties and cultural resentments that had fueled his rise. Kamala Harris, the first woman of color to be nominated for president by a major party, faced an uphill battle from the start. Her candidacy was historic, but it was also fraught with challenges that no previous candidate had faced. She inherited a deeply polarized electorate and a political landscape still reeling from the Trump years. The nation was divided on almost every issue, from healthcare to immigration, and the scars of the previous administration's policies were still fresh. Her task was daunting, unite a fractured Democratic Party, and convince enough Americans that she, not Trump, represented the best path forward. This meant not only appealing to the party's progressive base, but also reaching out to moderates and independents who were skeptical of her platform. Harris campaigned on a message of unity and progress. She emphasized the need for the country to come together and move forward, leaving behind the divisive rhetoric and policies of the past. She promised to heal the divisions that had been exacerbated by Trump's presidency. Her speeches often highlighted the importance of community and the power of collective action to bring about change. She pledged to address issues like climate change, income inequality, and racial injustice. These were not just campaign promises, they were central to her vision for a more equitable and sustainable future. Her message resonated with many Democrats, but it failed to gain traction with enough independent voters to secure victory. The challenge was not just in her policies, but in convincing a skeptical electorate that she could deliver on her promises. Some analysts argued that Harris, despite her impressive credentials, was not the right candidate for the moment. They pointed to her inability to connect with certain voter demographics and questioned whether her message was too idealistic for the current political climate. They pointed to her struggles to connect with working-class voters and her perceived lack of charisma on the campaign trail. Her background as a prosecutor was also a point of contention for some voters who felt she was out of touch with their everyday struggles. Others argued that she was a victim of circumstance, facing an opponent who was a master at exploiting cultural anxieties and stoking division. Trump's ability to tap into the fears and frustrations of a significant portion of the electorate made it difficult for any opponent to gain ground. Harris's defeat marked a setback for those who had hoped to see a woman, and a woman of color, in the White House. It was a moment of reflection for many, as they considered what her loss meant for the future of diversity and representation in American politics. It also raised questions about the future of the Democratic Party, 
and its ability to win back voters who had been drawn to Trump's populist message. The party faced a critical juncture, needing to reassess its strategies and reconnect with the broader electorate to build a more inclusive and effective coalition for future elections. Section 4. A Tumultuous Journey from Reality TV to the Oval Office Again Donald Trump's return to the White House was a testament to his political resilience and his enduring appeal to a segment of the American electorate. His ability to connect with voters who felt disenfranchised by the traditional political system was unparalleled. No stranger to controversy, Trump had weathered two impeachments, numerous scandals, and a global pandemic, only to emerge victorious once again. His tenure was marked by a series of unprecedented events that would have derailed most political careers, yet he managed to navigate through them with a unique blend of defiance and charisma. Trump's journey from reality TV star to twice-elected president was unlike anything in American history. His rise to power was a phenomenon that defied conventional political wisdom and showcased the changing dynamics of American politics. He had never held elected office before his improbable victory in 2016. His campaign was initially dismissed by many as a publicity stunt, but he proved the skeptics wrong by securing the Republican nomination and ultimately the presidency. He had no experience in government or foreign policy. Despite this, he approached his role with the confidence and boldness that characterized his business career, often breaking with diplomatic norms and protocols. Yet he managed to tap into a deep vein of anger and frustration among voters who felt ignored by the political establishment. His message resonated with those who believed that the system was rigged against them and that their voices were not being heard. His first term was marked by chaos and division. The country saw an increase in political polarization, with fierce debates and protests becoming a common occurrence. He engaged in bitter feuds with political opponents and foreign leaders. His confrontational style often led to diplomatic tensions, but it also solidified his image as a leader who was unafraid to stand his ground. He implemented controversial policies on immigration, trade, and climate change. These policies were met with both fervent support and vehement opposition, reflecting the deep divisions within the country. He faced constant scrutiny from the media and investigations into his administration's conduct. The relentless coverage and numerous inquiries only seemed to embolden his supporters, who viewed them as attempts to undermine his presidency. Despite the turmoil, Trump remained popular with his base of supporters. Their unwavering loyalty was a key factor in his political survival and eventual return to the Oval Office. They admired his willingness to challenge the status quo and his unapologetically America First approach. His promises to prioritize American interests resonated deeply with those who felt left behind by globalization and economic changes. They cheered his attacks on the media and his defiance of political correctness. His unfiltered communication style, particularly on social media, was seen as a refreshing change from the polished rhetoric of traditional politicians. They believed that he was fighting for them, even if it meant breaking the rules. To his supporters, Trump's willingness to disrupt the status quo was a sign of his commitment to bringing about real change, no matter the cost. Section 5. The Economy on Edge. Trump's Gamble. Trump inherited an economy still grappling with the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Businesses were shuttered and the streets were eerily quiet, reflecting the uncertainty that gripped the nation. Inflation was at a 40-year high. Supply chains were snarled, causing delays and shortages. Gas prices were soaring, making everyday life more expensive for the average American. The economic anxiety that had helped propel Trump to victory was palpable. People were worried about their jobs, their savings, and their future. Trump, never one to shy away from bold pronouncements, promised to tame inflation, create jobs, and restore American economic dominance. His speeches were filled with grand visions and ambitious plans. He vowed to unleash a wave of deregulation, cut taxes, and renegotiate trade deals. He believed that by reducing government interference, businesses would thrive and the economy would rebound. His approach, a mix of populist rhetoric and traditional Republican economic policies, was met with a mix of skepticism and cautious optimism. Some saw his plans as a necessary shakeup, while others feared the consequences. Some economists warned that Trump's policies, particularly his massive tax cuts, would lead to ballooning deficits and exacerbate income inequality. They cautioned that the benefits might not reach the average citizen. 
They argued that his protectionist trade policies would harm American businesses and consumers. Tariffs and trade wars could lead to higher prices and reduced access to global markets. Others, however, argued that Trump's focus on deregulation and tax cuts would stimulate economic growth and create jobs. They believed that a freer market would lead to innovation and prosperity. Trump's economic record would be a defining aspect of his presidency. His ability to deliver on his promises would shape his legacy and influence the nation's future. If he succeeded in taming inflation and boosting the economy, it would solidify his standing with his base and potentially attract new supporters. The American dream would seem within reach once more. But if he failed, it could spell disaster for his presidency and for the country. The stakes were incredibly high, and the nation watched with bated breath, hoping for a brighter economic future.